Hey everyone, my name's Maury. Welcome to the Island of Awakening. This is our forever island that we're slowly developing with lots of kind of mini builds and things. Exhibit one. Exhibit two. Exhibit three. Exhibit four which was a bit of a fail because <laughs> the tree grew. Luckily, I have a plan to fix things today. Over the last few days, I've been stunting some trees ready to fix our build. So we've got some smaller trees and they grow up to be the bigger trees. And then eventually they get to this size. And if, or if you want to know how to stunt them, all you do is plant a sapling in front of them and then they stay at the size they are. This allows us to move them into a new location, make use of them at the size that they are, which be much better for the mini builds that we're trying to make. <laughs> I also did the same with the cedar trees. So we've got some really small ones going up to the bigger ones. Um, and this isn't even the full size. You can see the trunk's quite small. Uh, the full size ones are up there. So it gives you an idea of how many smaller trees we've got to work with. Now, I think we'll fix our autumn one first. So of course we do have to dig these up. So uh, we can dig the little ones up, I think, but we need some fruit for the bigger ones. Ah, <laughs> how useful. We're just gonna harvest these fruits and use these to dig up the trees basically and what we want to do is create kind of decoration around our small builds but incorporate the smaller trees so it just looks nicer to look at basically there we go and if we plant these back in the ground we're going to need to stunt them again by planting another sapling uh, so we'll keep them in our pockets just for now to see which ones we're going to use and we'll take them all the way over to our oh we need a fruit for this one ah that's better <laughs> There we go, so we can take this. So as you can see, these are the little saplings that we use to stunt them. They also won't grow because they're next to a, another tree. So that's a really cool trick uh, lots of people use. We'll take some of the hardwood trees with us as well. I'm thinking about a couple of the small ones. And we'll leave the bigger one, maybe for the pumpkin patch. At this stage, our island still feels absolutely massive. We've got lots of areas that we're going to work on eventually. But we're in no rush to complete this island. We just want to come up with some cool ideas. I want to do as many smaller builds as possible because I feel like that's, uh, it's easier to do, especially at the start of an island when we have hardly any items uh, to hand. Right, we're going to have to dig up a lot of these trees because this just this just didn't work. <laughs> Look at this tree! There we go. I think I'm going to dig up all of these trees and we'll start again from scratch with the trees. Um, we do want the tall ones at the back. I think we're going to get rid of the money tree in this, in this instance. I do like using the money trees, but it doesn't really go with what we're trying to create here. So we'll get rid of these and yeah, we're gonna replant some of the bigger trees. So I'm gonna put a big cedar tree back to where it was. This is a full grown cedar tree. Again, if we make a mistake, we can just dig them up again. Now we're gonna want a smaller one. So a large young cedar. This is the next size, I think. There we go. So that already looks kind of cool, doesn't it? We have to remember to stunt this again, otherwise it will grow. Hmm. Yes, let's put a hardwood tree here as well. Oh, I don't know if I like the look of that, actually. I think we might leave the hardwood trees out of this. Let's use another fully grown cedar tree here. We might have to swap these around. But it is kind of cool having a smaller one behind it. Yeah, we might have to swap those two around. And then we can put a little one here. So we've got medium and small. We'll go with a really small one. That's super cute, isn't it? Medium one here. There we go. So this is already looking better. But I think we're going to have to get rid of the... Swap these two around. So we need some more fruit. Okay, we're back. Um, I actually think we're going to move this even more. We're going to make more changes. I'm going to move this tree and put it where the signpost is. Because the signpost is quite annoying. It stops us getting through here. So I think we're going to put the little baby tree here. Small young cedar. There we go. It's best to have the small ones in the foreground, I think. Uh, we might end up just getting rid of this, to be honest. None of these weeds have grown. I was hoping they were going to grow like those ones down there, but they probably will eventually. Get rid of one of the fences. We should have gone with our instinct and just put the large trees at the back here. So we'll put another... No, not the large one. We want a fully grown cedar tree. So we're going to have two as the kind of backdrop there. We want the next size here, which is the large young cedar, I think. There we go. That already looks way cooler, doesn't it? You know what? I'm thinking we might not even need the 
sign at all because I'll need to plant a sapling here. I wonder if it works at an angle because if it works at an angle, actually I could put it in here. Might be able to put it in here, right. Um, okay, 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 okay. I, I, I've got a plan. I've got a plan. Okay, too many thoughts. <laughs> okay, so we're going to stunt this tree by planting here. We'll stunt these two trees by planting there. I'm hoping it works at an angle. It should do. And then that way we can put our fence back here. But I'm just wanting to check to see if the... Yeah, there's not enough room here. This sign is ginormous. It's like a tile and a half wide. I don't like it for that very reason. I really like the visual of this sign, but it's just too big. We can't get it any closer. Now I can't walk past it. Do you know what? That's not so bad. Maybe we'll just leave it there. It doesn't, it doesn't matter if we can walk around it. We could probably extend this cliff later on if we needed to. There we go. We're just going to lay a little bit of fence to join this up. I think this looks loads better, actually. I think we should put some, maybe some more bushes behind it as well. Um, okay, we need to go and buy some cedar saplings so we can stunt these cedar trees, make sure they don't grow. Otherwise, we're going to have the same problem again. <laughs> and then we'll probably get onto the pumpkin patch and fix that as well. Because as you can see, we had a plan about having an area behind it. And with the bushes there, we can't get through. So we might steal those bushes. But first, we need to go and buy some cedar saplings. And we have the upgraded nooks which is awesome. We can plant pretty much. Oh, look at that retro TV. That's so cool. Oh, some popcorn. It was meant to be. <laughs> uh, you can plant anything. We could have planted fruit trees, for example, but uh, to keep in with the aesthetic, I think we're just going to go for some um, cedar saplings there. We may as well buy. Oh, we haven't got enough money. No, we need to find the money rock. Actually, to save time, I'm just going to bury the money tree we dug up. There'll be plenty of opportunities to get more money trees. And then I think I'm just going to steal these bell bags. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nobody saw a thing. Okay, hopefully we can buy that TV and the popcorn as well. Priorities are fixing our builds. Any saplings that we have left over, we can just throw in our storage anyway. So we'll buy, buy them in bulk. Right, let's buy this popcorn. Looks delicious. We already have a knife block. We're trying to buy up everything, basically. It makes building things easier. Retro TV, 6,000 bells, not too bad. It's quite cute TV. This computer, on the other hand, is going to be expensive. Whoa, 100,000 bells. No, thank you. We, we don't have anywhere near that much money yet. Um, but as you can see, by the way, all the uh, autumn stuff is out on decoration inside Nooks. Really cool. So it only seems fitting to fix our autumn build. So let's get over there. It's so far away. <laughs> okay, whew, we made it back. Right. We need to plant some saplings just to stunt these trees. So I'm hoping if we plant one here, cedar sapling plant. That should stunt these two trees because technically it's next to this one as well. So none of these should grow now. Even the sapling should stay the same size, which is good. It's kind of a nice detail as well. Fits in with the, the autumn vibes. And we, we need one here as well. I'm sure you know this by now. This is not a new trick by any means, but I've never really utilized it. So yeah, we're going to change the fences at some point. But for now, I think I'm just going to drop a couple more around it to fill in some gaps. Oh yes, we can't. <laughs> that sign! <laughs> we can't get past it! Maybe we'll get rid of one of these. Actually, mate, do you know what? I think it would be better, actually, if we plant the sapling here. That way we can neaten up the fence a little bit and keep the saplings inside the build. Where's the, is this the ultra? Yeah, we go, nursery, nursery cedar, the ultra baby sapling. Plant that one back in there. Now that should stunt that tree as well, I'm hoping. If not, we're going to have to fix this again, and we, re we really don't want that. Okay, now we should be able to just finish this fence off there. There we go. Kind of the idea I was going for. That's as close as we can plant the trees. I think also when we add some paths around this, this will look really, really cool. So there we go. That's kind of what I was thinking of. I think it looks loads better. But again, once we've added some paths and maybe some more around, uh, like some backdrops or something, maybe some cliffs. If we can, that will look really, really cool. Okay, all that's left now is the daily chores. But I won't bore you with those. Uh, we're just going to be grinding for resources, earning those bells. Uh, let me know what you think of the changes and if you think they look any better or if you preferred them how they were. I'd love to know. And don't forget to drop your ideas in the comments for other mini builds we could do on our Forever Island. I'd love to hear your ideas, especially since we are approaching kind of 
autumn and Halloween and those kind of holidays. So let me know your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, of course, to the patrons and channel members. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.